Star uh, has gone through many changes. Uh, it started as a broadsheet uh, under a different title. Then it's uh, changed uh, through different uh, ownership, people buying it and uh, and incorporating the weekly newspaper that we used to have as well. Uh, it became a daily and uh, then we moved to a tabloid format and we'll be changing it again in terms of uh, uh, modernising the look of it uh, this September. So uh, the, the point about the star is that it's part of the community and so its role within the community has evolved and changed as uh, people's demands and needs for information have changed as well. Uh, and obviously we have the website as well now, which is thestar.co.uk, which gives people the information in the format they want it and when they want it. Yeah, the Star serves uh, an element of readership which students may be interested in, so uh, a new look uh, a supplement which we're producing on Thursday called Time Out is something where they might get the information that they want, and that, that gives information about the gigs, the local band scene, what's on at the cinemas, um, what's under the theatres, uh, places to go and eat, etc. So, um, really, that's that's the key area that uh, that might appeal to them. If they're interested in what's going on in Sheffield, well, then of course, you know, the the biggest news provider is going to be the Star for that. Uh, but you know, I remember the times when I was a student, and and actually, you you're actually interested in what's going on in the city is is surrounding your own student life really uh, and so I would expect um, them to pick up the star if there's a headline that appeals to, appeals to them but if they want information that's that's relevant to them then that will be our time out entertainment supplement. Our strength is is that we are part of the community uh, with a trusted brand and we're possibly one of the biggest brands in Sheffield outside uh, Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. So we're very well recognised and people come to us for trusted information. So you can hear lots of rumours and gossip etc on all sorts of websites and all sorts of fanzine areas but uh, if people want to know what, what's going on and the truth behind it then they'll come to us. So that's our more traditional sort of value. Uh, our more modern sort of values are that we tend to be lively, entertaining and interactive and that's one of the things that we're driving more and more now in terms of trying to interact with our readers ask for their views and feed them back into the paper so so that's the modern part of what we're doing